Welcome to livingpianos.com. Robert Estrin here presenting one of the great American pianos of all time, Chickering. Once the largest producer of pianos in America, perhaps in the world, Chickering has a storied history. There were Chickerings in the White House. Abraham Lincoln had a Chickering. And this is a magnificent instrument from 1907, rebuilt in 2003. The original ivory is in impeccable condition. The original soundboard, which produces such a gorgeous sound that you're going to hear right now. I'm going to play some music for you to tell you a little bit more about this piano. I've got three selections for you. Stay to the end because I've got something special for you that you're going to want to hear. So first we're going to start with the beginning of the last one of Mozart's C minor sonata, K457, I believe. He didn't write very many sonatas in the minor keys, but they're all spectacular works. Listen to the beginning of this sonata in C minor of Mozart. I'm going to be performing that in a few months here. When the first concert, live concert, since before COVID, and I'm really looking forward to that, along with some other spectacular works, you'll be hearing more about that. But more about this piano. The tone is hard to describe. There's a richness to it, isn't there? And this particular instrument has a magnificent sustain. As you will hear, we went to tremendous lengths of chorus in voicing and regulating, so it's possible to achieve the tone of balance that you're about to hear in this condensed version of Chopin's F-sharp major nocturne. Another gorgeous work.
You may wonder why people invest the money for hand-built American and German pianos. It's because of the nuance and the colors that you're able to achieve on these instruments when they're in great condition like this. We did refinish it in this beautiful satin black finish that has a luster and a depth. It's gorgeous to behold. Look at the hand carving. It's, it heralds another age, doesn't it? I told you I had something special. I'm gonna play the middle section of Chopin's military polonaise, and it actually occurs twice. And the second time, I'm going to take the liberty so you can hear the bass on this six foot four inch grand of going all the way down to the lowest A. So watch for that. I hope you enjoy this. So here's a piano that is as wonderful to listen to as it is to play, as it is to behold visually. An all around great piano. And you know, as time goes on, instruments like this are increasingly rare. And if you enjoy them as much as I do, let me know in the comments here at livingpianos.com, your online piano resource, as well as YouTube. Thanks again, I'm Robert Estrin. Thanks so much for joining me. And subscribe if you like videos like this.